Dear students, welcome and thank you for tuning in to this video. I'm Dr. Lyle Zobi. I am going to solve with you a problem uh, that involves an inverting operation amplifier circuit. This is part of the review of the operation amplifier book that we are using in our class. Starting with this setup and uh, the circuit, the question is to calculate the voltage gain for the inverted amplifier circuit below uh, using numerical analysis. And also we want to calculate the input uh, current through R1. So what we would like to find is uh, First, the gain, which is AV of the operation amplifier, and also we'd like to find the current that is passing through this resistance, which is R1. Uh, and that's what, what I'm going to be doing today. I will start by saying that this is a, an inverting uh, operation amplifier circuit. And if you recall, the setup uh, that we're seeing is inverting because we are having the negative terminal of the pressure amplifier connected to the voltage here uh, while the positive terminal is connected to the ground so this setup is actually what we mean by an inverting operation amplifier circuit if you recall from the class and our discussions be before we said that the voltage gain which is AV for the invert the inverting operation amplifier is minus RF, which is the feedback uh, resistance here, which is 33 kilo ohms, minus, because that's inverting, divided by the input uh, resistance, which is 2.7. So RI here, kilo ohms. Uh, so if we did this, uh, my gain is going to be 33 kilo ohms divided by 2.7 kilo ohms. And if you do the calculations, this is going to give us minus, uh, don't forget the minus, this is inverting. So that's minus 12.2. That's my gain from this inverting operation for our circuit. So that's the part one here, which is finding the gain. Uh, of the operation amplifier. The second thing that we need to calculate is actually the current through R1. So one couple of things that we would like to uh, make sure that we are all agree on is that first, before we calculate the current in RI, we would like to make sure that we understand the how the operation amplifier function in a feedback um, circuit. Um, this is an input imp impedance, that's the 2.7. And also we'd like to use um, Ohm's law. Uh, so first of all, recall that no current is going to pass from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. So nothing is going to pass from here into the other terminal. And and we said in the class that the voltages on the both terminals, the positive and negative, they should always be equal uh, on the operation amplifier. So the positive terminal is connected to the ground. So this is actually zero. So this is zero volts. And here, at this point, we say that this is virtual zero or virtual ground because it should mimic, the negative terminal should mimic the positive terminal. So, terminal. so if you have a zero volt here, look at it. We don't have any voltages at this branch uh, from the positive terminal. So that's going to be zero, and this is going to be zero volt. So if this is zero volt, it looks like that we have a voltage source connected to a resistance and they are both connected to the ground, right? So it looks like they, they are both of them, they are parallel. And if the voltage here is uh, 500 millivolts, so this is the voltage that is acting on my resistance, which is 2.7. Uh, so that's 2.7 kilo ohms. And in order to be, to be able to find the current passing through this resistance, all what I have to do is use um, uh, Ohm's law. So what I say is I I in the input equals uh, VI divided by RI. Remember the, the Ohm's law is V equals IR, right? So the voltage equal to the current multiplied by the resistance. So if I know the resistance, I know the voltage. The res resistance is 2.7 and the voltage 500 millivolts. And they are parallel because the positive terminal is grounded. And on the negative terminal here at this point, this is a virtual zero. Uh, so that's why we, so we can connect them all together. And you say that this is a, a ground here for, you, for your circuit. So if you do this, uh, my voltage is 500 millivolt divided by the 2.7 kilo ohms right here and if you do the calculations so 500 millivolt is 0.5 volts so that is 0.5 divided by 2.7 
and that is going to give me a value of uh, equals. Don't forget to use the millivolts and use the kilo ohms uh, correctly. So you will end up with 185.2 micro ampere peak. And I'm doing peak because the voltage is peak here. So uh, this is not a DC, this is an AC. So 185.2 micro ampere uh, peak. That's how we're going to call it. To call it. Also, if you, one of the things that I did not cover in the class, but I can cover it here. So this is an AC signal. And if I want to make the values that I have 185.2, this is the current that we are, we are looking for that is passing through RI. But if I want to make it as a DC value, just microamperes, I want to put it as microamperes, I will calculate something called the root mean square value of this AC current. And the root mean square value is the square root of the mean square of the values and this is if we are doing a sinusoidal which is what we have here as a signal uh, it is the amount of ac power that can produce the same heating effect of a dc power that's rms so to calculate that in the in here so you will say that i rms it just multiply this value with 0 0.7071 so you take your um, the peak value i peak multiplied by 0 0.7071 and in this case, you have 185 uh, microampere peak, and you multiply it by 0 0.7071, and that's going to give you 130.9 microamperes. And if you're going to use the engineering notation and rounding up, this is going to be 131 uh, microamperes. This is the three significant figures. That's how we're going to represent uh, the values that we are talking about. So this is. I hope this question, this uh, question, clarifies how to calculate uh, the the gain and the current, the input current. This is the input current uh, in an in a, sorry in an inverting operation preferred circuit. Remember that after that, uh, you can do a lot with the circuit. So this current here is passing 2.7 is 500 millivolt, 500 millivolt. It is the same current that is passing through the 33 kilo ohm. So I can find the voltage across the 33 kilo ohm. And that's, let's say, V, v uh, feedback is going to be uh, I, I multiplied by R. The current is uh, 185. 185, oh sorry, 185 uh, micro, and you multiply it. Uh, so it's not helping me writing this. So you can, you, you get the point. So you can multiply it. So let's do it here, uh, all the way down here. So if you want to calculate that voltage across RF, which is the feedback uh, feedback resistance, is going to be uh, 185 micron multiplied by 33 kilo ohms. And that's the voltage across uh, the, refer the feedback um, resistance. And you can also uh, then find the output voltage uh, from here uh, by you know adding the two voltages that they're coming from uh, the circuits the five the 500 uh, uh, millivolt peak and also with this voltage that is across the uh, reference uh, resistance we don't want to go through this in our in our um, you know analysis all what i want from you to do uh, or this the question wants us to do is just to find the gain and we found the gain and also the input current uh, that's passing through the 2.7 kilo ohm and i explained that um in addition, you can also find the voltage because the current is not going to pass through the op amp. No, recall that no current is going to pass from the negative to the positive or the positive to the neg negative terminal. So all the 185 microampere peak or the 131 milliampere a microampere is going to pass through the 33 kilo ohm, and then and then you can find the voltage. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, bye.